So our next prompt is going to be the seven question soap opera email marketing prompt. I'm particularly excited about this one because I'm curious what the soap opera part of it means. Uh, okay. If you use seven question in the AIPRM search, it'll come up uh, under Nicole Donnelly's name, GPT-4, and it says create your own soap opera email campaign in seconds. So uh, before we get started, what do you mean by a soap opera email campaign? You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's dramatic. Um, when you when we go through this process, you'll see what the soap opera sequence is. It's not a serious email campaign. It's to create drama that keeps people interested in what you have. And usually it has an expiration date, like leading up to some sort of launch or event. Um, but they're very short emails. And Perfect. this was an easy one to do in a prompt. So that's where we started. It's kind of a fun one. Wonderful. And Michelle Sagalein is going to join us. She runs a uh, tutoring company and is a perfect fit for the soap operatic prompt. Welcome, <laughs> Michelle. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> so I'm not going to show my face because I just got back from the gym. So that would be a horror story. So, <laughs> uh, but okay. All right. So the bit is your business name. Is it S4? It's, study uh, skills? it's successful study skills for students. That's the full name. Successful study skills for students. Okay. Successful study skills for students. Okay, make sure we're on four. I almost did that again. Um, okay, here we go. Maybe. There we go. Okay, do you have, so brief overview of the company, do you have something on your website that you could copy and paste in the chat for this? Uh, yes, but I can give you some brief headlines also. Okay. Uh, so what do you... We we teach students uh, the tools and systems they need to succeed and get good grades with less stress and anxiety. We've been around for 13 years. We tutor elementary through college students. We work with years. Yeah, 13 years. And we work with over 8,000 kids. Do you, okay, that's, and tutoring is what you do? Yeah, uh, tutoring and study skills, executive functions, academics, such as math, writing, Spanish, French, science, reading, okay. as well as ACTs and SATs. And who's your target audience? Uh, moms between the ages of 37 to 59. When you yeah. say target audience, you mean the person that's going to pay for your service or? I think, yeah, in this case, it's the person that's going to get the email. So yeah. it's the moms that'll get the email yeah. on this one. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any more information like socioeconomic? Uh, they, 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 they want their students to succeed in school and go to a great college. Okay. They predominantly, predominantly live in um, rigorous uh, school districts. All right, so the main character customer, this one. So is this or the, or the mom? Yeah. So what's their background, challenges, goals? So they want their kids to succeed. They realize that, uh, 
helping their student, uh, their students not listening to them in terms of how to study and get their work done. It's creating mm -hmm. a family angst, a lot of meltdowns. The student says they've got it. And then turns out they have that test or that project due the day, the next day. So there's a lot of procrastination, disorganization. The student is also overwhelmed with work, might have ADD, ADHD as well. Doesn't know how to plan and manage their time. Very disorganized. Smart kids are bright, but uh, their grades don't reflect either their potential or uh, the effort, their effort. Even when the student puts in a lot of effort, they sometimes bomb the test or they forget even to turn in the assignment. Okay. Um, what sets you apart from competitors? Do you have a unique selling proposition? We, we teach kids how to study so they can become independent learners. And we use their content or their academic work to teach them how to study. So that means that they get their work done as well as learn eventually how to do, get their work done on their own. Okay. All of our, okay. Uh, we'll do five days for the sequence. What are your objectives with this email sequence? And I think this is a good point. You're not always just going to sell, but build relationships with the audience, promote your services, drive conversions. What would your objectives be? Well, ultimately, my objective is for them, the parent to call me. That's the ultimate objective. We also have a blog. So, uh, you know, I would direct that, you know, if they don't, if they don't want to get engaged, they can date us by seeing our blog. Okay. What's the call to action? So pick do you up, want to pick up the phone? Talk to us. Tell us about your student. All right. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yep. Oh my God. And you could, if you have real testimonial, you can put the, your actual customer's name in there with a picture of them and their kid, if they'll let you. I have a ton of testimonials. Well, not a ton, but I have enough. <laughs> Oh my God, this is so fun. Michelle, what are you seeing that's making you laugh? I just think it's so funny because um, first of all, it's very catchy, you know, it's short, it's brief and uh, it's, um, you know, it, it kind of makes me want to know more. I, you know, give me the next, uh, give me the next, uh, give me the next show mm -hmm. and uh it you know it i i can't read it as quickly but um yeah uh you know it's it's very uh it's it's unique in terms of a email campaign and i think it would be fun to try with uh 
parents that we haven't had a lot of activity from, you know, to segment mm. uh, those parents in our database. Um, yeah, and, and target yeah. it. The, because Oh, it's because if you want to get, if you want to segment them, you could do this sequence and you could say, focus on ADHD, or you could say, focus on executive functioning. And so it could be the, it would tell the specific story for the different thing. And so if that resonates, um, you know, you can start to test what the main issues that the parent might be having is. Right. It's like, usually uh, ADD, ADHD stress and anxiety. I mean, that's the, we get a lot of calls from very high performing parents of very high performing kids. And even kids that aren't performing, those are the, increasingly the constants. And I think that is as a result of the pandemic just really exacerbated mm -hmm. everything. So this is great. <laughs> Thank you for this. You're I'm welcome. Up, and my chat GPT today. <laughs> <laughs> The link to your sequence here is in the chat. Awesome. And anybody can take this and play with it. So great. Thank you. So Thanks. thank you so, so much, uh, Michelle. Really appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you. Andrew White, you're up next.